Thank you for coming along with the corporate clients. My message today was basically this. Yeah, you um deal with private clients one way, but the corporate clients, I, I wanted to demonstrate that they're just, listen, for those of you who were in on the appointment that I did, how different was it than the other stuff that I do? It's the exact same thing, exact same thing. I mean, there is some variation. The only difference is that when I first meet with businesses, what I tell them is that, hey, if you do this often, is this something that you commonly do? Yeah, every other month you do something like this, you get notifications. Hey, how's this? I'll give you a link to me directly. Save it on your desktop. Google, what? What? Yelp, what? Man, call me. You don't have to look any further. You found me. You found the notary. Hit the button that I say is a custom link just for you. Just for you in your business, in your legal firm. Yeah. You saw the office. You, you saw the lobby, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? $100 ain't nothing. Okay. <laughs> they don't. It's not the price. But anyway, I tell them. The only difference between the appointments is that I tell them, if you do this, call me. I don't say it just like that. I say, listen, is this something you commonly do? Yeah. Okay, great. How about this? I'll give you a customized link where you can reach to me directly. That way you don't have to use Google. Tell your assistant. Just I'm not leaving business cards either, right? No business cards, okay? Because this is why. And we talked about this in the rest in peace business card, and some of y'all missed it. And I know y'all missed it. See? Y'all was sleeping. Y'all missed a great offer too I had for the notary on automation course. But that's neither here nor there. But I don't give business cards. Now, in this situation, it is okay, it's appropriate, I would think, to give a business card because this person has already paid you. They've already conducted business with you. So they know how good you are or how well it went. And then you can give them a business card. And then you can say, hey, you know, call me next time you need a notary. But what I found out was that nobody was using these damn business cards. And so I printed out, like, you know, years ago, I printed out, what it was like 200 business cards. And then I realized that nobody used them. And how did I know nobody was using them? Because I was asking people, how did you hear about me? And they were like, well, I just went online. Okay. And then I would hand them business cards. And then the repeat customers were never the people who had business cards. It, it just never happened. It never happened. I saw no reason for using a business card. In the situation where you conduct, uh, you have a corporate client. And then as you're leaving, uh, I don't think that was a CEO. But um, as you're leaving, you know, you say, hey, do you do this often? Yeah. Okay. Well, how about this? Forget Google. What? Yelp. No. Here's a custom link that you can reach me direct. Save it on your desktop, bookmark it, and then you can hit it and then I'll be right here. You can give that or here's my business card. Call me when you need me. Bam. You know where that business card went? It went tucked away somewhere. They're going to say, hey, can we need a, we need a notary. Can we get some documents notarized? Can you help us out? Find it? This is exactly how it went down. The guy goes, hey, we, didn't, we need some documents notarized. Can you help us uh, locate the guy that we uh, used before? Secretary is like, oh, yeah. Let me find out what that person was. And now they're searching for it. They're nervous because they don't know where the business card went. Save that link on your desktop. Reach out to me. I'll be right there. And like he said, if you guys were, were in the, he said, I need the automation info. Yeah, that's, so the course breaks that down. All right, not just how to do it, but why why this works, why it works. And I show you guys in real time that it works. And you heard the guy in the appointment, quick and easy. I was like, long time no see. He's like, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, we got some documents again. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. You always have this. You're an engineer, of course. You're trying to build bridges. Like, that's real construction. They ain't trying to do no house renovation. Yo, they're building bridges. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they... You better prove to me that you are this person who's signing this document. You better prove to me that you have blood in your veins and you have air in your lungs and you're signing this document. We need written proof. I need to see. I need somebody to put eyes on you before we issue you this $700 million to conduct this, this research to see if the concrete is holding up in a bridge in China. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you better sign this piece of paper. Sign, I need to know that you are a real person. I need to know that you are a real physical person. And I need, to, and the only way, the only way, uh, talk all you want about remote online notary, the only way 
the only verifiable way that I can know for sure if I'm about to write you a check for $700 million so, so that you can conduct a, a research uh, study on how effective the concrete is holding up in a bridge in South China. The only way I can know this is if I put eyes on you. That's what's at stake. So let's go get it notarized. <laughs> and that's what the notary does. I provide physical proof that you are that person.